Last time on the sands of time, he points off into the distance. You guys see like this mechanical ship start like swimming its way over to you guys. The shadow beneath you guys kind of fades as this thing approaches you. And you see the front of the boat, like a trap door sort of opens up as if it's about to scoop you guys. Oops, and Quab sides kind of like, ooh. Heard so much about this ship, but I've never been inside. You know about the ship? This is the part of mom. Yeah, no, so you blast, you blast the thing around you. The wood just starts splintering open. So eventually you've got a hole big enough that you can both crawl through. I'll just, like a gopher, stick my head out and move it. Pick your head up, and what you see is, uh... <laughs> and we're back to another episode of The Sands of Time. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Diego Malins. These are my players today, Noah Cuevas and Lazaro Acevedo. Dungeons and Dragons! The Dungeon Master describes a scene to his players. The players tell me what their characters will do in the situation, and then roll a dice to determine if they succeed or fail. Depending on the roll, I tell them what happens, and we do this over and over and over and over. So, you stick your head up, and what you see is, uh... <laughs> there's a bunch of... How do I describe this? You know, you've seen Pinocchio, right? Yeah. Like the, he's like a little wooden doll. Mm -hmm. There's a few of those stored in this room. You see the posts of the, the mass, like, attached to the ground in this room. They weren't through the bottom all the way. But, yeah, in the very centers, so it's going to be the same size as this. All right, so I'm afraid this right now. I'm definitely afraid of dolls. <laughs> well, I'm afraid of water. Get the fuck over it. Yeah, what a wuss. <laughs> You're afraid of toys. You're afraid of an abiotic thing. Yeah, yeah, with literal death inside of it. These are, these are like, the, the master Those going through this mm -hmm. in here. Um, there's still a ceiling above you. Um, I like the way you showed that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, really just how <laughs> firm and sturdy they are. Yeah. But they're, they're all kind of, like, lining or, like, sitting up against the walls or, like, against the side of the room. Um, it's also an armory, so you see, like, few posts with weapons and shields and stuff what like that. What kind of weapons? There, what kind of armor? Uh, is there a great sword? No, it, there's just a bunch of cutlasses, daggers, and shields. I have a great idea. Mm -hmm. I should have done this in the other room, too. I, I'm just a forgetful individual. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna detect magic. Oh! Oh! Really? <laughs> I'm gonna detect magic. You're just doing right. this? Yeah, just right now. Brock will go to you. I hate you. Can you detect magic? No. Alright. But it would have been nice to know there was a fucking water snake in the water. To be fair, that, that was a creature that wouldn't have been detected. And all the illusions. You wouldn't know exactly where they were. We wouldn't have to play Fall Guys. But we did, and we had a fun time. And our friend Cyclops died. <laughs> um, Alright. First off, the entire ship reeks of transmutation. Hey, yo, this thing built different. On the ground, uh, you didn't see them before because no one made a perception check, but you see like little glyphs that have uh, enchantment. Hey, yo, there's glyphs and with enchantment, like enchantment. Finally, right all the dolls have, are also transmutation. Those dolls are sus. I'm gonna take my sword and I'm gonna poke the ground in front of me. Okay. As I walk this way. You gonna wait back there? That's, that's well, my no, key. I'm gonna also go. You're doing this at the same time. Yeah. Everyone roll initiative. <laughs> Again, right. as as per expectations, because I don't have uh, mechanical door pieces, we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to work to use pieces. We're just gonna use actual gnomes. So I'm gonna run up to this one. Okay. Right, and I'm going to hit him with the short sword. Okay. Uh, fourteen. Uh, does not hit. Wow, alright, hand crossbow. Well. Alright, you, you walk up to it, you swing at it with the short sword, you pull out your crossbow, shoot at it. You do hit him both times, but it kind of like bounces off, like it's it's got like good armor. Oh, okay. it, it's made of wood, but it seems to be stronger than that. Um, that's your turn, Les. Then get her, baby. Hey. Get her done! Yeah. Woo! Hurt me! Alright, those two move up and get flanking on the eyes. This one moves over there and gets flanking on you. 
school. Sixteen. My cat shield. Okay. What's your AC? That's plus four, right? Plus five. Plus five. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. So the first one does not hit. And second one. Second one got a twenty-two. What? Uh. Okay. He hits you. <laughs> it swings at you with its uh, wooden hand for seven damage. What does that karate chop mean? Les. First one got a nineteen. Second one got a 12. Both hit? Awesome. The first one hits you for 7. The second one for 7. Wait, where's it? 20? You're down? Yep. I'm actually going to I'm going to be <laughs> taken out by Pinocchio, too. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna attack Pinocchio. This, the same one. That's a uh, 15. 15? This is a 8. And a uh, hand crossbow. 18. Hits. Uh, six damage. That's safe. Oh wait, I forgot. Count. You were right here for the first session. I'm count. rolling. I, I'm oh. starting a new thing. I rolled the death saves behind the screen. But you guys don't know where you're at. You just don't. I don't like it. It, it, it keeps the uh, the anticipation up. All right, dog. Yeah. You're back up. No way. <laughs> wow. She rolled. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back, my boy! Nat 20! I just, I just... I'm, I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> they, yeah, they don't notice you get up, but the other two start moving towards now. One of them gets right next to you. They don't get sagged. Fuck. You're, you're up against the side of the, uh, the ship, like, with the wood behind you. Trying to fight back as they all surround you. Now, the question is, how many four-year-olds can you take? I'll do you. Excellent. 17? They almost have as much collected. 17 doesn't hit. 17 doesn't? Oh. I have 19. No, that was only one. That was it. Okay, so you use it. You have 19 now. The second one gets 18. 11. 17. Alright! <laughs> I'm like, your matrix seems in their hands. So, yeah. All of them start swinging at you with their arms. And uh, you start. You, you, you cast shield and these invisible barriers appear around your hand. You just start blocking them with air, basically. I'm gonna use my breath weapon. Uh, so three damage. Three. And then I'm gonna use one of them. One of them is down. The one oh. that you bag or yeah, whichever one you hit. I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna use a bonus action. Okay. As that old blade. So in one hand you have your hex blade cutlass. In your other you uh. What did you use? Elfin blast? No. no, you used your dragon Sha breath. Yeah, and then shadow blade. Okay. So yeah, you you move forward and you breathe out a large like line of acidic uh, breath coming from you, almost like a dragon breathing fire, but instead you're breathing acid. Um, but yeah, no, you breathe acid through them and one of them just kind of simmers down and gets destroyed completely as you had already hit it before. The other one is, is getting pretty damaged. And uh, as you finish this, in your other hand, you put it out and materializes uh, a shadowy blade, just of, of pure dark energy. It comes out, the blade comes out through here. Now you have a cutlass and a shadow blade. Next turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit the one that I've been trying to hit this entire time. Are you? <laughs> Seventeen plus five. That Thanks. Is... Okay. That's That's um, six, and then I'm gonna use my hand crossbow. Is this the one that we hit already? Yeah. Well, that, I, that took seven. Then I rolled a nat twenty for my hand crossbow. Okay. We got a crit, baby. Yeah, and that's um, 11 plus another one. The only one hyped about the crit. <laughs> it, it's two rolls, right? When did you get a crit? It's kind of funny. Got a crit. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. <laughs> He's got a nat 20. <laughs> hey! 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 Merry Christmas! I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast this dude's brain out. That's, that's, <laughs> he oh. doesn't have one! He's been out here! <laughs> Alright, alright, hear me out. So that's that's uh, 11, I did 15 damage, I'm assuming I have to kill You got the overkill, yeah. Alright, so I want my arrow to decapitate him and then stick his head on the wall. Eat you. I'm gonna dunk you. you I, I've been missing this dude consistently. Yeah, because he's got the schmoops. I, you know they're made of, like, wood, right? Like, yeah. I don't think that's gonna be you know, you have that you shoot that's it. You shoot him, and you shoot it hard enough. You, you swing at him, and then you put your crossbow to his head and say, Hasta la vista. 
baby. <laughs> my my finger blast. Yeah, you, you blow the freaking head off and it just gets stuck to the side of the wall. By some miracle. I, you, you guys figure out how that works. I, so Mythbusters ain't gonna try this. Swartling! I'm gonna walk. Not on the hood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try and cut one of them with the cutlass first. That's a nat one. <laughs> and then I'm gonna try and hit one with the with the blade, the shadow blade. What'd you roll that one up? Up with my cutlass. <laughs> You see, when you roll a nat one. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Not again! Critical fumble. <laughs> so you swing, you swung with your blade. Oh, that's so perfect! Alright, which one did you swing at? No. Alright, so you swing and miss and hit the floor next to you, right where there happens to be a glyph. I'm gonna make it next time. Very <laughs> <laughs> None of the, not even the Pinocchio's made it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> fireball. <laughs> it's a mini fireball. It's a mini fireball. I'm dead. And now it's So yeah, you, you hit the floor next to you, and there happens to be one of the glyphs there. You, didn't, you, didn't, you can't see it, but you knew where they were. Uh, but he told you where some of them were, so you avoided it. But, <laughs> but you activated it. And suddenly as your your sword hits the ground, you see like fire start to erupt into like this ball of just pure fire energy. Oh shit. <laughs> it spreads on top of me. Oh shit. <laughs> I like to believe that's how it happened. Ding! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm gonna attack him. 16, that hits. 16 plus 5, or plus 4. Yeah, that hits. That's 3 damage. <laughs> He's dead. Woo! <laughs> There. I'm gonna stabilize uh, Grog. Alright, I'm gonna search this area for potions. I like, I'm also, up at one or I'm just. No, you're, you're stable, you're unconscious though. I'm gonna search this area for potions, even if it looks like there might not be any. <laughs> you go back and look. Make an investigation. I could go back and look for more. 21. In the uh, the weapon area, because there was, I said there was an armor around here. Yeah. There is a medicine kit. Are right, you ready to go? He is stable, maybe not because of your help, but do you maybe not do you wait there for him to wake up? Yes. Or? All right. Uh, so you guys both sit there, and after two hours, you wake up at one health. Can I search the room for like trap doors and stuff? A turtle. Turtles don't have trapdoors, stupid. Yeah, there's a trapdoor over here. That goes up. <laughs> there any, okay, can I look at all the Looking for, like, secret. Yeah. Alright, make an investigation check. 18. Yeah, behind one of uh, the shields, there's a little box. Little tiny crate. <laughs> I open it. There's a small pearl in there. Ah! <laughs> Alright, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. We could sell it! It'll be no, so no, no, much no. money! Hear me out, hear me out. I could use this. I could, could you? Yes. So there's a spell called Identify. I don't know if you're familiar with it. You literally told me about it like five seconds ago. Oh, yeah, ago. I know, I know. But like, just in case, you forgot. You've died twice. You might have some brain loss. Memory loss. <laughs> brain loss? <laughs> I promise you, it's all there. Should, there's not a lot you, of it, you, but you it's should, all you there. let me hold on to that. No. I'll give up my firstborn child for it. <laughs> are you I, offer? Are you actually going to offer me a if, firstborn If I it? get it, if I get oh. it, what happens? If you get what? If I get the firstborn child. Alright. Okay. If he offers up his firstborn to you for the pearl. He's doing it. He's right. doing it. We, you, we you're, shook hands. You're offering the firstborn to the mm. devil. Uh-huh. The devil is gonna... You're, you get more favor with the devil, which means he gives you more power. Uh-huh. But he also gives you more acknowledgement. So a contract comes out in the air, and a, another stabbing quill is right there. So you have to prick your blood and sign with your blood. <laughs> oh my god. That's brutal. <laughs> Take one point of piercing damage. <laughs> what do you guys do? I'm walking, walking over. The hatch. The last hatch? Okay. Yeah. So you go you up the stairs, it's locked again. Is the lock on the inside or the outside? Is it in, It's uh, not on your side. <laughs> ready to go round two? Sure. Just because you gave up your child. Yeah. And eventually it opens and you guys reach the uh, the surface of of the ship. 
it's a regular galleon. There's three posts with uh, sails all attached to them, ropes going all around, um, cannons on either side, um, and a door to a captain's quarters. Also, hanging off the side of the ship is uh, it's, it's one of those safety boats. It's a, like a canoe, a wooden canoe. Well, where's the crew? There is no crew. Oh. You see, the, uh, the, so on, also on the it's side, all I should, ship. you know, you know how Our the uh, you know how Vikings have like the giant paddles on the side of their ships that are all like attached through those. Uh, they have like the little rings that the, the mm-hmm. posts go through. Mm-hmm. They're moving on their own. The oars. ship is pushing itself. Yeah, the oars are pushing themselves. There's no one attached to them. They're just moving. I, I want to go to the captain's door. So, see if we yeah, can you, find you have the doors of it. Boy, not the door. Alright, you open the door. Are you stepping in or are you just... Just poking my head. Okay. There's a... Uh, there's a desk with a map on it. Um, seems to have like magical like sprites moving all around it. Um, and there's a few treasure chests. I want to poke the floor. Some of my cousins. Okay. Poke, poke the floor. And from the ceiling, an axe swings out <laughs> and hits you. Me? You're the one there. I didn't walk in. I know. Make a deck search. Walk in, eh? You know, it swings out the door. Oh, fuck. <laughs> A disadvantage or? Yes. Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Alright, because you were partially outside the door, you managed to like scoot back and avoid it as it like swings Are up you the door. It starts swinging back <laughs> and forth, back and um, forth at the door until eventually it just stops in the center. Do you think we can take it? Or tr- full trap or the axe? No, I meant the, the big axe. Like, you think I'll be sick? Like, I could just. Wow! Can you hold it? Yeah! I don't see why not. I mean, pick it up and take it off. Another blast. <laughs> After a bit of blasting, the axe drops. Um, it's not like a conventional axe, it's just like a... It's got like the wooden trap type thing around it, and then at the head is the axe head. But you, you can still hold it like a normal axe. I don't really want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw it overboard. <laughs> no, just look inside. Alright. You see, as you're stepping, as you fully go inside, you see like sort of like claws moving around, like moving chests and moving money, organizing like treasure. I'm gonna go try open one. Opening what? Yes, they're open. Absolutely, there's claws like moving treasure from chest to chest. Does it look like it's how claws like? They're they're like mechanical claws, like grabbing things. Like, First, are there any potions? Yeah, you see like the claws moving moving potions through like from chest to chest. Hey, you want to use that pearl? <laughs> I don't have any more spells. <laughs> I'm gonna take the red ones only. Wait, wait, hold on. Can I cast the red ones specifically? Oh, Alright, you get like three. Are there any other like different colored ones? Oh yeah, that's a good thing. There's actually a chest that the potions are being moved to that just have potions in it. I'm gonna take rope and I'm gonna fasten like a bunch of them together. I'm wearing a rope. I'll, and like, then do well with that. Just hold it. Using all of your rope, Quick you make a safe little like kind of basket chain for all the potions. Uh, you can take. Eight on it. Well, I'm also gonna tie eight to mine, so. You guys grab 16 potions, you tie them around your waist, put them there safely. Um, okay, now what kind of treasure? If there's just gold, I'm gonna grab some gold. There's gold, there's items, it's it's all varied, it's being moved around from chest. I'm just chest. grabbing a bunch of shit and then putting it in my bag. I'm gonna grab. As much as I can hold. I'm gonna grab gold and any weapon. Maybe a short sword or a dagger. Get those away. Yeah, you, you find a few. You guys find a few weapons. And I'm gonna rip one of the like. Does the desk have cabinets? <laughs> like drawers and shit. No, it, it's a table that has a map on it. That's it. Damn. I'm gonna I'm gonna like flip the table, Wait, rip off one of the legs, and take it. The map. Fuck the map. But we can put it on somewhere else. I, this is wood. You know how much how much trinkets I can carve with this wood. This whole ship is made of wood. You kick the desk, take a leg. I'm gonna look at the map. Or is the map on the ground now? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna spread out the map on the t- on the floor. All right, now that it's on the floor, it all the magic that was on it dissipates, but it just looks like a map of the like the area. And you see me in the corner, like holding my wood piece, like yes, I could be so much with this. I mean, I was gonna use it to see where we were. Hopefully, the magic was gonna tell us. You know how to read? I know my way around a sh- around a map. So on the map, even though it doesn't tell you where you are, it shows that. The Roaring Key was directly east of uh, the Scourge's Sanctuary. Um, 
You're probably somewhere in between those. Uh, I'm gonna go outside while he's doing his treasure thing to the uh, to the wheel, and I'm gonna try to steal the boat. All right, so you go up to the wheel. Yeah. All right, so you try to grab on the wheel, and it, it's moving on its own, and you try to like turn it a certain way. It doesn't it doesn't budge. It doesn't look like it's going east. I assume by the sun. All right, you look at the sun, compare it to the direction. No. No. Uh. But there is a wooden canoe. Yeah. A little safety boat on the side of the ship. But they don't have magical fish. All right, uh, I'm gonna go back to the captain's quarter and I'm gonna tell you we Still should take the we we should probably start heading out. This boat is not going to where we need to go. Hmm? Let's just let's just let's head out. This boat is not taking us where we need to be, and we can't really move it. It's kind of just going on its own. Still live on gold. You can take a chest with you. All right, and you guys pick up the chest. You put it on the little safety boat. Money, 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 money. <laughs> All right, and then is it? Is it whole thing held up by a string? Yeah, but it's it's easy enough. That was bland. Boom, boom. <laughs> it's easy enough to get it to draw. It. <laughs> now, can you Eldritch Blast the uh, the entire ship? I can no, start I know. firing. I don't think I'll get the whole thing. I mean, I, you see, I mean, you want to deep down inside. I know you want to blow shit up. No, it's a nice turtle. You're, look you're, at you're look right. at what it, it gave us. It's a nice turtle. And then we'll I'll start taking out shit that I stole. Like this meme. we'll just we'll just leave it. We'll just. Well, it's it's a it's like a it was a thing that it lives in the water, and it opened its mouth and it ate us. Look, I only know of things you know that I've seen, and I've seen dragons. And the dragon at my house has told me about a dragon turtle. And all I'm saying is this looks a lot like a turtle. Make a history check. A disadvantage? No, make a history check. It's just memory. Eleven. Just eleven. Yeah, it's fine. Right, so it's fine. Yeah. While you're talking about the, the turtle that your your dragon referred to, you remember the, the old myth that uh, sailors will drop treasure into the water for protection. You know that chest we just got? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. As 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 the part among is floating away, you guys are in the in the middle of the ocean, just bobbing up and down. Two oars and a chest. No, I I think we have to think we have to drop it. We can take some. I mean, I'll take fifty. Then can we just like can we just like dump half of it and then like? I mean, you think he'll be satisfied with that? He's a greedy man. Can I can I try and like? I don't know. Discern it. Discern what? If it'll be enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that up to you. I say dump the whole chest. I mean, I I'm also taking fifty for myself. I can't, I physically can't hold any more gold. I took so much from that place. I think we're gonna have to drop it. If you want to drop half, you can. But you have to deal with the consequences. (laughs) 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 Before he can think more. And in a moment of just like sadness, you remember the tale. You guys are on a new boat. You're wondering, (laughs) hey. Ah oh, shit! There's a there's a dragon turtle out there. Is that what the crates were for? They would just kick like gold down. God fucking damn it! <laughs> what if we what if we took a chest, threw it overboard, and then took another chest? Then you God, you would have protected the part of them. But we could have brought two chests. <laughs> and that's Why am I dumb? That's where we're gonna leave off for today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. The money.